my channel, Apples and Tiara. So today I have a special guest, Jennifer from Jenny with Teaching. Hi. And we are gonna be doing the end of the year teaching tag created by Darren Nakakihara, and there is a hashtag at uh, teach so strong. Is that what it was? Sure, crap. Teach so strong. I don't know. Yeah. I teach no, I teach so hard. Hashtag I teach so hard. It's hard, okay? Life um, is hard. There so are, are hashtags. <laughs> there are 14 questions. Jennifer is going to interview me and ask me the questions. And if you would like to see Jennifer's answers to this tag, you can go on over to her channel, which will be linked down below, and you can see all of her responses. So, we gonna get started. All right, so question number one. What grade do you teach, and how long have you taught that grade? I currently teach fourth grade, and I have been teaching fourth grade for four years. So this was my golden year, and it was seriously the best year ever. Mm -hmm. Best year They were year the same kids. Ever. This year. is my best year ever t-shirt from Lipstick and Littles. Go follow her on Instagram and She's buy some so shirts. Good. She's yes, so I'm good. promoting. Continue. All right. Number two, what adjective best describes you as a teacher and why? I would say silly. <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> If I'm not being super serious and like really nailing down teaching, I'm being silly with my students and I'm being their friend and I'm having fun with them. I've seen both sides. Yeah, and, um, both and sides. everything I do is silly. You couldn't tell. If you're a student and you're watching and this you're and you agree, put the thumbs up emoji. Thumbs up emoji. My dog's trying to get out the window and we're in the second door. Um, you're not gonna be flying, Pippin. Sorry, <laughs> me with the big old ears. <laughs> Question number three. If your life as a teacher was made into a movie, what movie star would play you? Um, Kate Hudson. Oh! Because everybody says I look like her, which Ooh. I don't really think so, but I love Kate Hudson and yeah. I think that she would be. That's a good one. Number four. Think of a lesson from this year that you're especially proud of and what made it so special. Um, I'm not gonna pick one specific lesson, but I will talk about the most successful lessons and why they were successful. Um, the most engaged my kids were ever was when I used music or Kagan strategies. Yep. And I have the little emoji. Oh yeah, from our uh, I forget Schroeder. Is that Schroeder what it shenanigans? Schroeder shenanigans second. Yes. They're like little emoji partner cards, and you pass them out, and then they have to match them up. Either that, or I use the the Class Dojo toolbox, and I put them in random groups, and uh, I use music to have them rotate around and. Uh, things like that. So like using the Kagan strategies. Anytime I use them, my kids are super engaged yeah. the entire time I'm using them. And they have no-brainers because you can use them with any content. Yeah, anytime, yeah. Any, anywhere. I'm not going to just pick one lesson. Yeah, that's the good. components of the list. Number five. Tell us about a student that you think you'll likely remember forever from this year. I know, it's like really hard. No. Cause like this group this is group, amazing. They stand out. But I have to pick... I wish I could... All of them. I know. Um, but I feel like the twins, and they know who they are. Yes. Yeah. I was like, wait, who's the twins? I'll Let's never forget. forget. Literally yeah, the, the twins. twins. <laughs> I'll never forget um, Aiden, Mandy's son, because oh, yeah. he's like my little buddy. Yeah. And like outside of the classroom. Yeah, it's different when it's like a, teacher's, a teacher's. You see them yeah, more. A friend's you see child. Them um, in different ways. But the twins. Um, How was it having them together? Because I only amazing. had one. Um, and the reason why is because they have so much personality. They, they are so funny. They make me laugh they all day long. They come from a hilarious family. They do. Like their mom, their mom and I are friends on Facebook now. His dad's funny. And their dad, dad came on all our field trips. Mm -hmm. And just their personalities, like we got along so well. Here's an example. I always joke with my students and when they sneeze, I always say, one more and you owe me a donut. Because mm -hmm. it helps them stop sneezing. Yeah. Today, today one of them brought me a donut. So like they really, and they were like, I owed you a donut, so here you go. And I was oh, like, Oh, I have a yes. that, that sneezes a lot. I can also in a bakery with that. Oh, yeah, sneezes. oh, it's all the time, <laughs> but yeah, so this is their funny personality, and like, I always play their favorite songs, and yeah, oh, it's just that. like their energy that they that give. Group like, really appreciate music, which yeah, I they love. really do, yeah. they really do, yes. Yeah. So, those, those two, because they're brother and yes. sister, I couldn't choose one without no. the other. Um, let's see. Number six, at this point in the year, how do you feel about the teaching profession? I'll be honest with you, at this point of the year, I'm like done. Yeah. And 
that's why I keep all of my like long lasting projects till the end because I'm so over like planning. Planning, I'm over grading, I'm over you know, having well, they're to over yeah, and they're over stuff. it too. And I'm over like monitoring and like giving specific feedback. Mm -hmm. And it's just I have to pack my room and I have to do all these other things. It's not like I'm checked out, but yeah, no. I always give them like these projects at the end because it keeps them busy, it keeps them engaged, it keeps them learning, and you know I'm able to stay sane because I'm not having to deal with like all these other mm -hmm, you know different things. So. I would definitely say that the last like month of teaching is the hardest. Yeah, it's the funnest, it can mm -hmm. be the funnest, yeah. but it's really hard. So number seven, how do you keep your job fun and engaging no matter how long you've been teaching? I would say music. Yes, music keeps everything engaging. Um, like you said, choosing to do different activities, a lot more art projects, yes. keep it engaging. Um, engaging for me, I would say these like bigger projects. Oh, and a novel study. Do yeah. a novel study. Even do one you've never done before yeah. because then it's surprising you mm -hmm. in addition to the story. I started reading the book this year, Witches, just mm -hmm. as a read aloud. Mm -hmm. And I am now gonna make it part of my Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make a novel study mm -hmm. next year. And to it like like I said before, it's like a long lasting assignment instead of mm -hmm. being just like a quick lesson because you've covered all the standards by now and you can use them, you can apply them with lit, um, lit studies. And like I said, if you do something you haven't done before, then you're reading it along with them and you can be just as surprised by the content as they are. Yeah, that's true. All right, number eight. What has surprised you the most since the school year started? I would say, what a big impact leaving for maternity leave has on kids. Yeah. Um, individuals. Just as individuals. Like I have a couple of, of students that really struggled when I left um, just because of their, you know, learning needs and personality needs. And a, a couple of them have, you know, come back from it and they're fine. But there was a really big struggle at the beginning, you know, just trying to get them back on track and just the loss of like what has been learned like last year. Yeah. And I don't like to harp and like focus on standardized testing, but like last year, all of my, like my growth was exceeded mm -hmm. on our Galileo district assessment. Yeah. And this year we've just maintained, yeah. which is still good. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's positive. They didn't all drop down, but like that time was wasted. Even yeah. though I had a great long-term sub, mm -hmm. the fact that she left, like, not even in the middle, like yeah. closer to the beginning. And then that second sub really did not do anything standards based with them. Yeah. So they really missed out on practicing standards and like really learning how to, you know, work with them. So they probably it was, missed that community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it was, was just really hard. hard. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad it was with this group though, because if it was oh, any yeah. other group, they it would have been a complete them. disaster. Yeah. Okay. Number 11, what is the last thing you took a picture of and show us? Hopefully it's more exciting. It's probably cash. <laughs> it's this. It's the tag. Oh! <laughs> Does that count? Yeah. Um, the weird. last picture was this Mother's Day card that my oh. son's babysitter made me and put on the door because my, my Mother's Day was kind of boring oh. and I was all by myself and she made a cute little and then the one before oh. that is cash. <laughs> In his little hungry caterpillar outfit. <laughs> Number twelve. Sing the last song you listened to. Um. It was uh, a. <laughs> I close my eyes and I can see a world waiting for me. Oh, I know. That's called. That's from. That's from a Greatest yeah. Showman. <laughs> we were listening to the Greatest Showman in class. Oh, I did walk in. You guys were listening to that. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Number thirteen. Complete the sentence. If I weren't a t-shirt. A t-shirt. <laughs> if I weren't a t-shirt. <laughs> I weren't a teacher, okay. If I weren't a teacher, I'd be. I would be on Broadway. Oh my that god! That was my other that's dream. That's your perfect job. That was my other dream. Stop. Performing somewhere. Whatever. Performing. That's I would be awful. I'll be the stage hand in the back. Fix <laughs> your dress. I don't know. 
<laughs> Number 14, the last one. Who is your teaching hero? And tell them one thing that you really appreciate about them. Well, technically, you are my teaching hero. Mm. And it's not just you're because nice. it's not just because you're my friend. It's not just because you're in this video with me. It's because of all the things you've shared with me and taught me over these last two years of our friendship. You, you, so said you're you seriously me. are like my mentor. I wish that you had been my mentor teacher when I was student teaching. And just all of the like management tips that you've given me, all of the instructional tips you've given me, just like in life in general and the way that you oh, the way that you can like overcome like hardships yeah. in teaching and in life. You just are like a huge inspiration to me. Um, and then of course Mrs. Tripp, she was my fourth grade teacher. She like was the best. And I strive to be like her every day. Yes. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. She read so holes good. to me when oh. I was in fourth grade. So I read holes to my fourth graders because I should read it to your third graders. I'm thinking I might. So those are all the questions and we are going to include them in our description down below so that you guys can do it because tag, you're it! You get to do this tag next. And um, thanks Darren for creating this. It was so fun! We love it. Uh, we love doing tags. And every time we get together, we're going to have to just film together. Do a tag. We'll just make a tag! Yeah, we'll just make, make it a tag! <gasps> we should get t-shirts that say make it a tag. Make it a tag. Tag. And on the back, tag, you're tag it. You're it. <laughs> Hey Darren, teach us how to make shirts. Let's stick in littles. Honey bunny, make yes. us a tag. A teacher tag shirt and on the back say tag, tag your it. Mm -hmm. That'd be cute. Okay, well thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Apple's in TRS because it's new, because I have a delete that one. And in sign language. N. N. Is this M? N. N. <laughs> okay, that's the end. Bye! Bye, guys!